Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how I use a telephoto lens to shoot macro subjects like butterflies and bees. It's my most favourite method for doing this because normally this time of the morning I've already been up and I've at 5am I've got up and I've uh, photographed landscapes or birds early in the morning and then around this time of the morning like it's about 7.30am now uh, the butterfly wings and the bee wings are starting to dry out and they're starting to get on all the wildflowers. So it's a perfect time to bring out that telephoto lens which you, if you're like me you've already got it in your bag. I'll just show you the one that I use. So this is the one I use. It's a 70 to 300 and the reason why I like this one instead of me L lens which is very white and heavy this one is very light and so when I'm shooting landscapes I can always have this in my bag as well and it's not too heavy to carry. So as you see it's very small and lightweight and compact and it's also super sharp. It's one of those lenses that I think Canon could have made into an L lens. Now I'm in this beautiful um, it's like a, a natural overgrown place that the council doesn't actually mow down and it's about five minutes from where we live. And we noticed yesterday that there's a lot of wildflowers in this area, which means there's also a lot of butterflies, hopefully. Now, the important thing is to uh, pick a flower where you're going to have some really nice smooth background. So if I were to photograph, say, this here, and like any of these uh, flowers here, these ones here are going to be also in the shot and it could be really distracting because the distance between my camera and the subject, which is this flower here, um, is a lot further than that and these flowers here. So what I'm looking for is something more like, say, these flowers up here, where I can get a nice blurred background with those green, either down there with those green uh, grasses in the ground, or I could come up here and get maybe that tree there or around here and get that darker area there in the background and then it's just a waiting game to see what lands on it and normally uh, the tallest flowers in the garden or your wild area will always get something land on it so now it's just a waiting game and see what lands on it I'll show you with my camera now like what I mean by that Okay, now this is what I mean by having a busy background. So like when I'm focused on that first flower and there's a lot of stuff around it, you'll see that it's not the ideal situation. So like it could be an okay shot, the butterfly might come and lean on it, but really it's not what I'm looking for. Now, if I zoom in to say one behind it, which has a much nicer background, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, now as you can see, the background is nice and blurred and there's no distractions for the butterfly. So that was just a simple thing that I did. I just sourced out a flower the where the background was further away. Okay, so for today I'm using Aperture Priority. I've also set ISO 400 and F4 is showing at the moment, but when I zoom my lens out to its longest length, which is 300, it shows F4. 5.6 then which is the widest I can do on this lens at its longest length. I then have standard picture style and auto white balance and I've also set L servo because if a uh, butterfly starts flying it might also be able to track it and that would be awesome to get a, a butterfly in flight. And high continuous shooting. Okay so this is a beautiful area our butterflies just landed on but as you can see it's not really ideal because you've got all the other plants near it. Okay so again this is another butterfly as you can see the background still isn't smooth enough for my liking there's too many things behind it that are closer in distance to the butterfly than the camera is to the butterfly. So what you want is you want a butterfly where the distance between the butterfly and the background is at least twice as the distance between you and the butterfly. Okay, so I'll show you what's happening here. So this is my camera. So you'll see this is the ones that I'm aiming for, these ones here. 
these butterflies. Now you'll see that that background back there is a lot further away than my camera is to the butterfly. And that's what makes that gorgeous background blue.